United States will train Ukraine on Patriot system in Oklahoma as soon as next week. Now, my question, are they training them for over there or to be able to operate them over here? This reminds me a lot of those old uh, Jade Helm 15 trainings that were going on. As the United States is becoming more and more of a third world corporation, as um, Henry Kissinger said he would, it seems his cousin is sending, his cousin Zelensky is sending the people over here to start participating in uh, the control. I found a video uh, that um, I wasn't I'll be honest, I was not looking for. I'm not a Hitler person. I don't care for World War One or World War Two. The most I know is about that whole um letter that um they said they intercepted from uh uh Albert Pike from that um the Jesuit that was written to him or he was writing to the Jesuit that was about um his three dreams of World War One and World War Two and World War Three would be the unveiling, you know, uh, the destruction of Christianity and all religions. People losing faith in any kind of idea that there is a God, and uh, it'd be the unveiling of Lucifer and that he was the one true God. That's the that's the most I know about. It. I don't care to sit around and watch hour long videos or however long they do them of um, U boats and, and who did what and whatnot, you know. Um, I think the only other thing I watched was um, a video on this guy that said he was Jewish, um, Frank something, about um, how the United States was uh, brought in to the war and the uh, private agreement that um, if the Jews got the United States to come in on the war, how Great Britain would give them Palestine. And the uh, whole, um, what was it called? The, it's not Barrington. What is that declaration? I can't remember what the declaration was because people made fun of it. How could Great Britain promise a land that wasn't even under their control to the Jews? Uh, I can't think of the name of it, but it was the whole end result that uh, if the uh, United States got involved, that uh, they would give them this land so the Jews could have their own homeland. That's the most I know about it, you know. But I found a video, and it was actually from a movie, nonetheless. And I wasn't expecting this. I was actually trying to go back and find, because I've been talking to Arthur Scott and others about this, how um, this, and I brought it up in before in my uh, in my videos, how this um, general uh, or governor, I'm sorry, this governor of um, Arizona claimed. That in Colorado, there were Russian soldiers working with the uh, United Nations to dig out caves. And they were putting in the caves um, war machines. Um, machines, because it was specifically, the, these machines were built um, in the 70s. You know, tanks and other things like that. And he pointed out, you know, what's the importance of having that when they're not as as efficient as the tanks that they're building nowadays. And he was pointing out, you know, these are machines built without microchips in them, okay? That these were fully diesel run, you know, machines. And the only reason you would do that, you would bury these in these caves, is so in the planning of an EMP going off like on the Simpsons episodes right and then in the case of an EMP going off all microchips will be fried you would have to start building new microchips from scratch and with all the cars um, from the 80s and there on having microchips in them of some sort they would all be rendered useless they'd just be scraps of metal right so you would need a car built from the 70s and before then that have no microchips. Um, so 
they wouldn't be affected by an EMT blast. So they have the, all these tanks and it, and um, and my mind was just the image of um, that painting from the Denver An International Airport. I'm like, that's all they're missing is showing a, a like a, a a tank built from '72, you know, from the Berlin Wall or something like that, you know. So I was trying to find the video and I actually ran across this video, and I had to calm down because first I was freaking out and. and I mean, in a way that I was just like, freaking out is in a way I was just praising the most high, you know, you know, I was excited. <clears throat> I wasn't freaking out. Like I was scared. I was excited as can be because I'm like, wow, out of all things I'm looking into, this comes up, you know, uh, like I said before, I'm looking into the mind stuff over again. <clears throat> I even ran across, <clears throat> I even stopped to look into the Aztecs. Um, what was the difference between a mummy and a, a, a zombie? And I ended up watching a movie that was recommended, you know, and they, it had some good stuff in it. I can't play it because of copyrights. Um, but, you know, it, it had stuff in there to explain, like, the Aztecs believed in, you know, doing sacrifice at, you know, at dawn or at uh, sunset um, because they believed that was when the veil between this world and the spiritual world were the thinnest. And I was thinking of the Passover. When do you do the sacrifice? At sunset. I was like, wow. <laughs> you know, and it, <clears throat> but I'm going to play this and I hope they'll let me play it. If they don't, I'll put a, I'll do a short video and I'll put the link in the description. So go watch that. Im Süden hat der Gegner Zossen genommen und stößt auf Stahnsdorf vor. Der Feind operiert jetzt am nördlichen Stadtrand zwischen Frau the Americans will never tell us we are doomed. Remember, Planet X is being hidden from our view. I think it's interesting because I thought maybe Planet X is that dark planet that they talk about in the uh, supernatural, not supernatural, wow, in the Smallville episode, the planet that draws closer to Earth, the more Earth becomes corrupt and the more uh, Earth falls into fear and hating their neighbor and things like that. Um, this planet comes into view, dark planet, dark side. Dark side, right? It draws closer. Und Panko, und im Osten ist der Feind bis zur Linie Licht. Other teams in the Arctic are reporting an invisible pole, invisible pole shift. Remember, that's what they always talk about. The oh, the North Pole and the South Pole will flip. You know, the Earth will flip. Uh, the the ball that they say we're on is going to rotate over, and uh, the North will be the South, and the South will be the 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 the, the North. Back. Oh. Along with Americans, we have reported in 2012. Bankers here and here. So the whole world is so it begins. Look at it, look at it. He starts listening off all these groups he's telling them to leave. Why are the Mayans is the group listed as people that are supposed to leave? Or, or the group studying the Mayans stuff is listed as a group that's supposed to leave. Look at it. Project Bluebeam, Planet X, FEMA camps, the New World Order. So all those groups, are they supposed to, <laughs> are they Nazi groups that are functioning here in North America now, since they left Germany and came to America? Watch this. Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steiners war ein Befehl! Go, go, go back. Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff! 
Yuri to Florida, all of you have been in your sad one lives, huh? If you actually read about history, you would already know we are doomed. The Americans have suckered us into believing hair and fake new fake oh, oh okay and celebrate celebrate cele celebrities are the of mankind they built their underground bunkers and FEMA camps in full view of everyone and no one questions it Glenn Beck tried and failed. <laughs> the Mayan calendar warned us. The Qing warned us. We are all stupid. <laughs> you <clears throat> have you not noticed the change in our solar system? Woo! Venus and Jupiter switching place. <laughs> All the earthquakes and crazy weather patterns are an indication indication as has begun. Now that's interesting because remember I did a video with uh, the Christian lady that explained that um, in 2023 the Air Force claims that it will have control over weather, weather patterns, right? <laughs> that it will be able to manipulate the uh, jet streams. And then you think about all the people crying, oh, it's snowing in uh, March here in Arizona. That's unusual. It's snowing in Sonoma, California. That's unusual. American, Americans have built bunkers with citizens' dollars. Yep. The whole world has bunkers. You you spent so much time reading. <laughs> I'm not gonna repeat that. No wait 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 look that's another thing I want to point out the the eleven eleven. <laughs> <laughs> the 11 11 <laughs> so um, there's a friend of mine <laughs> we talk we, we talk <laughs> it's, uh, we talk because uh, she she notices the, the videos and she was like uh, and, and she knows me from locally right and she was like, oh, does God talk to you too? And I was like, no, God does not talk to me. Read the book of Lamentations. He said he shut up the heavens so he would not hear us. That's why it's important to do the Passover. That's why it's important to do the other sacrifices in like September and August, right? You know, um, so he smells the smell. Like Lex will explain it to us. Like what's going to make him turn around and notice us? It's the smell, the, the offerings, the, the, the performing of what he, his commandments to us done on time, you know? And, um, she right overhead because she's into Christianity really hard, right? And uh, she's like, "Oh well, God talks to me." And I was like, "Oh, right, please tell me more," <laughs> you know. And I'm thinking about the the sayings of Paul. Yeah, you know, if a spirit talks to you, you know, question it. You know, uh, they should hold up to questioning. <laughs> and uh, she's like, "Yeah, God talks to me. He's turned my life around." Blah 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 blah. And um, she's like, God, that's why God's telling me the next um, event is going to be the um, uprising of tyranny. And you need to be prepared to, to, tyr to for tyranny. And I was like, yeah, no, um, no, that's not what the Old Testament is telling me to do. Um, I mean, as far as I know, I'm not Ephraim. Judah's not going to whisper into my ear and, and I'm going to go around, you know, you know, t you know, doing that, those actions. So, but I'm just giving it to myself, you know, because I'm like, all right, well, obviously we're on two different levels. I'm Old Testament. She's New Testament, you know, and, um, 
<laughs> I was like, well, I've never heard the prophecy of tyranny. Tyranny, tell me more. And she's like, yeah. She's like, it's talk they're talking about in their churches that, uh, that the, what's going to save this country is tyranny. And I'm like, no, what's going to give them the excuse to come down even more harshly on you and take away even more of your rights without any resistance is when you guys act as, you know, Guy Fox and, 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 and you, you go, right, go around, you know, performing this act. So, um, she ended with giving me a 10, oh, I'm sorry, 11.10 and 11.75. And I thought about this movie and I was like, I wonder, I wonder what she, what she would say if I gave her 11.11. So I wrote back, all right, 11.11. She's like, oh, I'm trying to be, I am so trying to be, I really am. I'm like, well, what is 11.11? And then I looked it up. Don't want to share it. I want to know what 11 11. Uh, all right. In numerology, some New Age believers often link 11 11 to chance or coincidence. One, it is an example of synchronicity. For instance, those who are seeing 1111 on a clock often claim it as an auspicious sign or signaling a spirit presence. Two, three, four. Within Protestant Christianity, especially Pentecostal movements, the number 11 or 1111 has been associated with transition. Protestant Pentecostals have been led to search the scriptures to discern what does 1111 mean in the Bible, 7. In John chapter 11 verse 11 there is the transition from death to life of Lazarus, whom Jesus rose from the dead. 8.